Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to share with you a Neville Goddard story that's so out of the box that if it's true, you'll never see the world the same way again, for real. And not only that, you'll know how to manifest your desires for yourself and others. So if you really want to know just how powerful your imagination is, then yo, you definitely got to hear this one. Let's do this. In his lecture called Change Your Mental Diet, Neville talks about the time when this one guy who was a psychologist wrote to him a letter. And he told Neville that he just had to tell this story. Even if it wouldn't make any sense, he just had to tell it. Saying that as a psychologist, he wasted years trying to talk people out of their mental problems when he could have easily imagined them whole and happy. Here's a story, and this might sound pretty trippy for some of you, so keep an open mind. A friend of the psychologist, this one lady, claimed that she was in many ways abnormal. She claimed she was abnormal, and she and her husband adopted a little baby girl. And it's weird because something very strange went wrong with the child to the baby girl where even when the child was four years old, surprisingly, she still couldn't speak. And the few words that she did mutter were all garbled. They were not intelligible. But in the four years that the psychologist was talking to the lady, there was some progress though. Now one day the lady said to him, I don't feel any longer that I'm abnormal. So now I say to myself, I am not abnormal. And when he heard that, he tried explaining to her that that's not quite the right approach to take. And then he told Neville the story about the time when he found a home that he wanted. And since he wanted a particular home, what did he do? He began to imagine himself living in that home. So far, so good. But then, unfortunately, he started to doubt. Doubt set in. With the result, ready for this? That that doubt materialized into a person. And that person had more money than he did. And that person ended up buying the home instead of the psychologist. So he knew from that experience that every person in his world only reflected a mood in him. Everyone that he met, whether he knew him personally or were a stranger, just like the guy who bought the home he wanted because he didn't know him. In other words, that buyer of the house reflected that mood of doubt in him. So because of that experience, he reconstructed a sentence for the lady telling her to stop saying, I am not abnormal, but instead to say, I am perfectly normal. And she was like, I don't feel that. <laughs> and he said, I don't care whether you feel it or not. You must begin to persuade yourself that you are perfectly normal by repeating within yourself, I am perfectly normal. Check this out. And this is interesting if you're still skeptical about this. The day she began affirming that statement, I am perfectly normal. That same day, the child went into a coma and was in such a deep sleep that they couldn't wake her up. And so the mom asked the psychologist to examine the child. And he said no and told her to take the child to a medical clinic and have them examine her kid. Here's what happened. Remember, consider the timing of all this. As soon as a lady began from his suggestion to assume I am perfectly normal. Within 24 hours, you guys, the child woke up. And when they made the test in the medical center, get this, they found the child alert and bright, perfectly healthy, perfectly healthy. Boom. You see, although it might be hard to believe, Neville says that the child was only the outpictured statement of that mother who adopted her. How so? To summarize, the mother began to feel what? I am abnormal. She adopts a little girl who couldn't talk for four years. But even when she did, it was all garbled. It didn't make any sense. But when the mother changed the pattern of speech within herself and said, I am perfectly normal, all of a sudden, on the same day, the child goes into a coma and eventually wakes up. And they find her not only alert, but perfectly healthy too, returning to a normal state. Huh. Now how the heck do you explain all that? Especially the timing of it all. Coincidence? Would it happen anyway? Or, as Neville often says, the whole vast world, listen, is yourself pushed out. Let me say that again. The whole vast world is yourself pushed out. Let that sink in. All right, real talk now. What are you inwardly saying to yourself most of the time? Okay, What are you saying to yourself? In fact, what have you told yourself in the past 24 hours? For instance, have you said things like, I'm poor or I'm sick? Or I'm not happy, things like that. If so, well then, here's Neville's advice. Completely change your mental diet. Change your words. Flip them. 
boldly say within yourself, I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am happy. You may not feel it in the beginning, but who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just keep repeating it over and over again until when? You persuade yourself. You catch that mood of your wish fulfilled and feel as though it were true. That's the secret. And then here's what's going to happen. Neville says that when you assume you're now the person that you want to be and you walk in that assumption, reason may deny it, your senses may deny it, but if you persist in it, then in a way you do not know, it will project and externalize itself within your world and you'll receive it. The whole vast world is yourself pushed out, folks. You get what you believe. You. Yeah. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.